In this video, I'll show you how to make money using persistent momentum. You can calculate momentum as a relative ranking. You can cal calculate momentum and find the quality of momentum by using persistent momentum. So let's look at persistent momentum. Persistent momentum really means a momentum which is persistently going up or going down or a momentum which lasts for a longer period of time. And the time frame, you can decide whatever time frame you want to look at for persistency. The advantage of looking at persistent momentum is that it tells you that whether there is a strong buying or a strong selling coming into the market. So in order to look at persistent momentum, let's go to my computer and we'll have a look at uh, persistent momentum. So persistent momentum as the name indicates is basically a momentum which persists for some time period kind of a thing. In order to profit from momentum like that, you can decide, okay, look, I'm going to calculate persistent momentum as uh, number of days in a row a stock is up, right? Or you can calculate persistent moment as number of days stock is positive or negative in a given time period. So you want to find stocks which are up a lot in the last 10 days, like continuously, or like say which had like eight days positive in last 10 days or which had like an eight days negative then persistent momentum will help you find those kind of stocks or you want to find stocks which have spent number of days or they spent like 50 days or 100 days above a moving average so you want to spend find a stock which for 100 days in a row has been above 50 day moving average right and so those are the kind of things which you can use to find using persistent momentum or number of stock time a stock made a new high you want to find a stock say if a stock in a year makes 252 week high that means it has a persistently momentum right or it is persistently going up similarly if a stock is continuously making new lows if it makes say 120 new lows in the last 200 days that means it has a persistent down trending momentum so in order to create these kind of momentum kind of uh, qualities which will find you these kind of stocks, what you can do is you can use a functionality in Telechart which allows you to do this where you can find you look at how persistent the move is or like and you can create, write a scan which can allow you to find. Uh, so in order to do that, like and one of the ways in which you can do this is essentially what you can do is like say if you want to find stocks uh, which are up multiple days in a row right say uh, these are some of the columns which calculate persistency so if you're looking for a stock which has been up so AMR is a stock which in 252 days has spent 149 times it has made it was positive so out of 252 days 149 days the stock was positive or like say if you look at PBL over a period of time, right, and it has 147 stocks. So here you can find stocks, like say if you look at AMR, AMR is number one ranked by persistency of 252 days. So out of 252 days, 149 days, it was positive. So that was like an, a really very persistent move which was happening, right? Similarly, like this stock, and many of these stocks are now reverse eating, but like in a stock like ABVV was up 147 days uh, out of 252 days, or it closed positive for the day to 147 days out of 252 days. And you can do this for different time frames, so you can find out which stock is essentially, like BPT is 78 days in a row, or not in a row, but 78 days it has positive. Uh, days out of like 126 but the real use of this is to do it on a shorter time period like see this market is weak everybody is saying that it is weak or like and but here here is a stock which in the last 10 days 10 days in a row it has gone up right 10 days in a row this stock has gone up so here if you had found it while this was consolidating then you can profit from finding this kind of stock so this stock was up nine days in a row and then now it has reversed. Like Profase is a stock which out of 
10 days, 9 days, it was positive. Similarly, you have Karuna Therapeutics. Uh, number of biotechnology stocks you will see currently are positive 8 out of 10 days or 9 out of 10 days. See, Minocor is positive 9 out of 10 days or like you know, say Fresh Del Monte products, uh, which is a fruit company or this medical company. So you can find stocks which are up like five days out of five days, like this stock is up five days in a row, the Kura is up five, uh, for five days, IMCR is up five days, Legion. Similarly, you can go to 20 days and find stocks which had like persistent momentum. So persistency is one of the ways in which you can isolate strong stocks in the market or weak stocks in the market. And if you can isolate strong, like if you had like an, a persistency as a criteria, you would be focused on stocks like Z-Lab, right? And which in the last three days, it has made a move of 18%. So how can you find stocks like this, which have persistent momentum? And you can do this on a downside also. You can find stocks which have persistently down momentum. So if you look at like say stocks which are down a lot, you have stocks like you have stock like Peloton, right? Which is very weak stock, which out of 250 to 256 days, it has been negative or it has closed negative for the day, right? And then Sometimes, like in you know, these stocks, which are very negative, they reverse, and you can find the reversals also. So you can use persistency to find stocks which are persistent selling or buying, and then look for short or long opportunities. So how can you use persistency? You can use persistency in number of ways. You can use persistency by like you know, looking for good pullbacks. You can use persistency to find orderly consolidation and enter on a stock or you can find and enter in anticipation or you can find a good mean reversion because the stock has been going up for 8 or 10 days and then you are anticipating that it is going to revert. So in order to create scans for this, the way you can create a scan for this is in telechart, there is a function which allows you to put count true. So in order to find a stock which is up, say how many days in a row or how many days this stock is up. So C is the closing price today, right? And C1 is the price uh, a day earlier. So this is C1 and five days. So if you see this here, right, this is what exactly I was looking at as a persistency. If I create a scan like this here, or a column like this, then you will see that Pura is up five days, or out of five days, each of these days, Z Lab was positive. So if you can find a stock like this here, then obviously you can find opportunity, right? Or you can isolate stocks where there's a buying which is coming in in this market, right? And so some of the stocks um, which we identified using this for today were like you know, some of the stocks which I was focused on was STRO or Alexo or like Lam Watson, or Fate Therapeutics, or Decifera. So these are all stocks which are up like in a lot in the last five or six days. So you can use that to find opportunities. So if you want to find stocks which are above 50-day moving average, and how many times they are above 50-day average in last 100 days, because the stock has very high ratings, or the count true is very high, of a stock which is C average C50, it has a very strong momentum, right? And it's extremely strong momentum. Similarly, I am uh, I look for like in you know, stocks which have made more four percent breakouts uh, in the last. Say, if I want to find a stock which has made a lot more four percent breakouts, right? So this is just a four percent breakout. How many of them in the last ten days? Then you will find that Blue Apron is one of the stocks which has made a lot of 4% breakout, right, in the last couple of days. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in a row, right, and it has like an essay, uh, you can see that like and it has a lot of 4% uh, breakout, or here like an 
so accolade lot of four percent breakout right so many ways in which or you can see that roblox is a very strong stock because it has multiple four percent breakout so persistent momentum is a very good way to find opportunities for trading and in order to use persistent momentum what you can do is you can just use a relative ranking or relative relative strength which is what everybody is using but if you can use persistent momentum in addition to relative momentum then you'll find many opportunities which are very low risk kind of an opportunities and which you can profit a lot from these kind of opportunities like one of the stocks which i found on thursday or friday because the persistent momentum was fed therapeutic because it had a persistent momentum here right and it was setting up so nicely and today the stock is up nine percent right so this is a very good way to find stocks this is another stock which had one two three four five six days persistent momentum or seven days persistent last 10 days and then today it was up like in a five or six percent so you can profit a lot by using persistent momentum so if you are interested in making money in the market try and focus on understanding persistent